friends. Let me know that you're here. Hey, Carlene. How is everyone? Where are we? Let's get you guys up here on my phone so I can... Oh, we can do vertical live streaming now. Well, I might do that next time. I know some of you like it, this landscape, but it's hard for me to see you guys in your chat. So let me know you're here. I'm turning on the live chat there. Say hey in the comments if you are here. Hi, Carla. Yay, you found the chat. I'm so happy for you. Hi, Dinah. Welcome. Hey, hey, Stephanie. Stephanie, we got to chat. We need to chat. All right. Yay. How is everyone? I know this is strange, but Tuesday nights are just insane for me. So I think my Tuesday night live is going to end up being on Wednesday, which kind of spreads out my YouTube presence a little bit more because Monday night is a new video and then we'll skip Tuesday. Wednesday will be alive. Um, we do Friday, I hope, is my day. Yay! Awesome. Okay, so did you guys all watch my new video on Monday night? The bee-themed tiered tray. I had so much fun with those items and... Um, probably this week uh, or next Monday... It's going to be um, kind of back to my basics, my roots, I guess. And I am doing budget Dollar Tree DIYs for spring and Easter. I've kind of been collecting some stuff. And, um, you know, we will go back to the tiered tray. But, you know, I know not everybody does the tiered tray, although the ideas are still great. Thank you. I'm glad you guys liked that video. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, Nikki. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So it is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Um, one new item released today with Magnolia and it's the shelf sitter like this one. This is the white one. The light blue shelf sitter released today. I did order a couple of them along with some other items that I needed so um, these are really, really great surfaces. I love these. Um, this was, of course, the Church Hymns stencil that just came out. This was actually part of a larger 8.5 by 11 stencil and one of our small Faith Minis. So awesome things you can do. But the light blue uh, shelf sitter. So now we have three colors. We have white, red, and the light blue. So I wanted to tell you about that. Um, we still have our fabulous spring creator enrollment kits, $69, $99, and $199. Um, remember, when you come in as a creator with e either of those kits, you get an automatic 35% discount then on all your personal purchases, which is really nice. And then what's even better is when we have when they have sales like um I think we'll probably do a Christmas in July again. We do Black Friday things, we do like the first 12 days of Chris of December. We get our discount on top of the sale prices. So it's awesome. And it's a really fun way to uh make some money sharing crafts with your friends. So if anyone's interested in that, um be sure to message me. Oh, thank you, Amy. You're so sweet. Um, I do have a Facebook group for people interested in learning more about becoming a creator. I post in there maybe once every week or two um, when new kits come out. You know, tomorrow I'll probably post something. Hey, who has questions? But we have seven people join my team in February, which is awesome. Um, and I do team lunch parties to help new creators share about Magnolia um, right off the bat. So, yes. Yes, Stephanie. Yes. So, um, in a couple weeks, I'm going to be doing another launch party for new creators. So, if you're thinking about it, 
Um, now would be a great time to sign up because we've got that launch party that's going to happen. And what that basically is, it's an online Facebook party where I share little videos and posts about Magnolia and all the creators on my team. This time I'm doing just new creators can invite people to learn about it without them having to know all the information. So anyway, yay. I did also put my link tree link um, in the description of this video that has all my links for Magnolia, YouTube, email, um, my Amazon storefront for like some, a lot of the tools and supplies that I use a lot. So this is your first time watching me on YouTube, Cindy. That's awesome. Cindy is one of those new creators and so is Carla Fallon. Those are two of my newest creators that are going to be doing the launch party in a couple of weeks. We are going to start getting organized with that tomorrow. They're making their lists of people to invite. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so today's project is going to be pretty simple, although we are going to be layering um, a stencil. Oh, I forgot to grab my painter's tape. Let me grab that really quick. Um, you know, it is getting closer to Easter. I can't believe Easter's like three weeks away. It's so early this year. So I pulled out my old rugged cross stencil. This is one that we have. We also have Amazing Grace. Um, we have Star Spangled Banner. It's one where we have the sheet music. And then we have another stencil that you can overlay on top. So what I grabbed here was the, um, what size is this? Nine by 12? Yeah, it's the inside is nine by 12. It's double sided. So you can use the white side um, or you can paint this side, whatever you want. I'm actually gonna use the white side, but I'm going with more, um, I don't know, neutrally colors. So I'm gonna actually paint the inside of it with plaster. I want it to be a little bit more of a not so bright of a color. Nikita, you're interested. Okay, great. You can um, send me an email is probably the easiest to monarchmomdiy at gmail.com and just let me know that you mentioned on um, the YouTube chat that you're interested in learning more about being a creator and I will point you in the direction of the information that you will want to look at. And I'm always available to answer questions too. So it's a pretty sweet deal, whether you're just wanting to get your products at a discount or if you um, want to do it as a business or any combination of those. Um, there's ways you can earn free product. It's awesome. Like, I've, the last couple orders I've placed, I have not had to pay for because I've earned um, product credit. Hey, Amy. All right. So all I'm doing, I know I'm not showing you what I'm doing, but all I'm doing right now is putting painter's tape, and I'll show you. Um, I love my painter's tape. I'm going around the inside of the wood frame so that I can just paint the backing of this board. Okay, we've had this stencil for, did this come out last spring or the year before? At least one year, it might be two years old. And um, I try to make something different with it each spring for Easter. And I do have a craft show coming up April 20th, and even though that's after Easter, I feel like this is a, a, a stencil that is a great reminder all the time, right? You can't spell today. Hey, Liz, how are you, my friend? My Arizona friend. All right. So, how is everyone doing? If I miss your comments, I will come back and um, respond after. Sometimes it's hard to respond to everyone. Okay, so here's what I did. You can see I, I'm wanting to get it right lined up here where the backing meets the frame because I don't want to get my plaster colored paint 
on my frame. I want to keep this nice. It's like a stained wood. Okay, and the inside here is 9 by 12. So I'm just going to get my plaster chalk paint. Hey, Michelle. All right. And I might want this to be kind of a an old parchment paper kind of look. So I may even streak some brown, but we'll see. I'm going to do the music, the sheet music, Old Rugged Cross, on top of this plaster with glittering copper. It's going to look so pretty. And then we're going to use tanned leather for the cross and wild plum for the the fabric that's draped on the cross yes carla Are you talking about the surface the only thing so far that's not magnolia is the waverly chalk paint that i'm using to paint my background this surface is i believe it's called 9 by 12 double sided uh, surface or sign. Okay, all I'm doing, Pam, is painting. That's why I wasn't showing you, but I'm just painting this with the plaster. Okay, because it was white and I just wanted it a little. Uh, not so bright, a little more muted. Okay, so I put the painter's tape on and we're just gonna do this nice and even. All right, and I didn't bring, that color is hard to find. Is it? Plaster's hard to find? Oh, not at my store, but, yep, so that's what this color is, okay? And I'm just going to go ahead and peel off my tape while the paint is still wet. And I do that because if you wait till it dries, it could pull up some of the dried paint. So as soon as I'm done painting, I just go ahead and pull off my tape. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna use my heating tool here from Magnolia. Really, Stephanie, huh? Hi, Sean. This thing is so nice because it helps your paint dry so much faster. There we go. Super nice and dry. Double-sided wood board box frame nine by 12. Thank you, Dusty. I think Carla's starting to make her list for her first order. <laughs> All right, I am going to sand this lightly. When I paint a surface, I like to sand it lightly with 400 grit sandpaper so it's nice and smooth for my stencils. Ooh, that's nice. Because we want our stencil to be able to lay smoothly. On our surface here. Okay, 
And then, oh, I'm out of paper towels in here. I'm going to just get this into the trash. What I love about these boards is they are two-sided. So I could do a design on this side. I could do a completely different design on this side horizontally or vertically. And um, less storage, less cost, because for the cost of one sign, you're getting two projects out of it. I noticed I didn't get all the way to the edges here. Okay. Okay, so we're going up and down. And I first need glittering copper chalk paste. And let me get a sip of my coffee. Mm. Okay, so this pretty much fits top to bottom. It's a little wide on the sides, and honestly, I could trim it, but it's okay if it goes up a little bit on the edges. However, where is my trimmer? I want to see something here. I think, I think this is nine inches. Yep, so you know what? I am going to trim a little bit off the sides of my stencil. You guys know you could do that. cutting some of the excess off and now it's going to fit in there so nicely. Okay, so we're going to fuzz this because this is now a very smoothly painted surface and we don't want our stencil to stretch out of shape. I mean, I have used this stencil at least two times but I don't want it to get stuck on there. And I'm gonna do my little trick. I'll show you, I'm gonna use a stir stick underneath so that I'm gonna be able to pull it off easily. Just looking, making sure I don't have fuzz. Oh, the other song, one that we have at Christmas time is, um, it was, uh, was it Angels from the Realms of Glory or Hark the Herald? I think it was Hark the Herald Angels Sing, actually. Okay. So I'm going to stick this stir stick under the corner of my stencil. And that's going to allow me to be able to pull it up when I'm done stenciling. Okay, and we're just smoothing it all out. All right, so everywhere that I see the painted board, let me move my phone, is where the chalk paste is gonna go. Everything that we see that's the green stencil, I'm thinking, sorry, this is not, I need to place it just one more time. It wasn't quite straight. Looking at the, here, I'm gonna turn this sideways actually. It's gonna be a little easier for me to get it straight. Okay. Get that under there. All right. All right, glittering copper. Oh. Oh, we're talking about Walmart. Yeah. Yes, it was Hark the Herald Angels sing. 
Okay. So glittery copper. First, we're going to get the sheet music onto our background. Pull up the extra as we go. Okay. So now I'm using the back side of my squeegee and I'm just getting off any that's extra. All right. And now I'll be cut. Oops. I just let it go because I had this here. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Oh my gosh, the words look so crisp. Jill, that is one, oh, I just smudged it, touched it on accident. It's okay. There we go. Ooh, that looks so good. We'll just ignore the one little spot where I touched it. I want you to see how crisp those words are. Like I can read all the words. I could sing off of this. Bummer, I smudged it just a little bit. You know what, do I have a... I'm wondering if I have a... I thought I, oh, you know what? I don't think I did buy the metallic ones. That's okay. Once I get the cross on there, you're not even going to be able to tell. But what I need to do is dry this. Rugged cross. Looks so good. See that? The glittering copper looks really nice with this frame color, too. I'm loving that. All right. 
So next what we're going to do is the other part of the stencil is the cross with the fabric on it. And we're going to place it right over top of the words. So that's why I need to make sure this is nice and dry. I wonder if there's a way I can just want to try something really quickly. I have like a, let's see. Just want to try to fix that part a little bit. Just won't be perfect, but that's okay. I'm just going lightly over the lines that I smudged a little bit. There, I'm not gonna mess with that anymore. It looks, looks pretty good. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna do the cross. So I'm gonna fuzz this piece. Probably a few more times, just so it doesn't pull up the chalk paste for the words. But that's why we dried it really well. Nikki for our spring market. Ooh, that's cool, Jill. What kind of stuff are you making? Actually pull this down a little bit so that it's not covering up the words of the title. All right, so for the cross, I'm going to do tanned leather. It's basically our chocolate brown, and I'm going to use one of my paintbrush squeegees. So basically it's a squeegee on a paintbrush handle. And I'm gonna do the cross itself in the tanned leather. And then we're gonna do the cloth in wild plum. So with this paintbrush squeegee, I have a little bit more control because it's a smaller tip. And I can control better where my paste goes. Since we're gonna have the purple right up close to this brown.
Okay, so there's the cross and the rest of that is going to be the purple fabric. So we'll get our wild plum and we'll do majority of it with a regular squeegee. And then where it's really close to the brown, we'll do another paintbrush squeegee. Or I'm just going to go right up to the edge with the squeegee there. <laughs> All right, let's get this other paintbrush squeegee. Okay, oh, peel and reveal, here we go. I gotta move this out of the way so I can show you guys. What do you think? What are we talking about, Mod Podge? De oh, decoupaging with burlap. Okay. What do you guys think about this? Thank you, Stephanie. I love it. The detail is so incredible. I mean, it looks 3D. The fabric hanging on there, oh my goodness. Now, what I could do is once this dries, if I wanted the cloth to be more solid, I could come in and I could um, watercolor, I would seal this first. And then I could watercolor with, um, the same color filling in the fabric what do you guys think or do you like it where you can kind of see the words through through there so beautiful i was thinking of doing something to the frame but honestly i love how the frame matches the glittering copper i don't know that i would do anything else to this So simple and so beautiful. One stencil, I used three chalk paste colors. And if you wanted, you could have just done this on white. Um, I used glittering copper, tanned leather, and wild plum. So pretty. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much. You like it where you can see through the cloth? I think if I was doing just the cross, not on top of the words, um, I would for sure fill it in, but we'll see. I'll see what it looks like when it dries. Um, it does look very like delicate. The, the stencil, that's the one thing I'd worry about. If I tried to watercolor it in, I just worry that a lot of this detail, like on the fabric and stuff, would go away you know it would look great on a tote yes totally totally awesome well that is the craft i had planned for you guys um let me just share a couple other things 
Uh, if you're not aware, <laughs> if you don't have any sort of media outlet, um, Facebook had a little snafu yesterday and um, it scared a lot of people, especially people who do like live crafting and stuff on Facebook. But I want to make sure you guys know about my Telegram. Um, I do believe I have that linked on my link tree as well. What Telegram is, if you don't know, is it's a one-way broadcast channel from me to anyone who signs up for my Telegram, okay? Um, and that's just, it's a separate app. So, for instance, the people that are subscribed to my Telegram got a message from me about 30 minutes before I went live saying, hey, I'm going live on YouTube in 30 minutes, and I also put the link here to my YouTube channel. So um, if you want to make sure you get notified before I go live, like 20 to 30 minutes, because um, I know YouTube and Facebook, you don't get those notifications until I actually start my live. So um, Telegram should be on my link tree as well. Uh, don't forget if you're interested in information about Magnolia as a creator. Oh yes, Stephanie. Um, uh, send me an email. Um, I, I am not this week. Thursday we have, uh, I did put my schedule up for the week and I'm pretty sure I only did the YouTube live on Wednesday because Thursday, uh, on Facebook, we're doing another Magnolia creative meetup from 3.30 to 10.30 PM. So I will be doing that. Um, I'll be live on Facebook tomorrow, I think, three times. So, um, but yeah, Telegram, I will notify you whether it's YouTube or Facebook. So that's a great way to keep tabs on that, as well as my schedule that I post usually at the beginning of the week. All right. Well, thanks so much, everybody. If you have questions about any of the supplies I used, if you want links, if you want information about the Magnolia Creator uh, opportunity for a discount or making money, let me know that too. And I will come back and reply to you. Everybody have a wonderful night and we'll see you again soon. Bye.